Hi guys, this is Space Tyrant and this is a preview of it. Um, it isn't out yet, so I thought I would show you this before it comes out to give you a bit of an idea of what the game's about. It comes out Tuesday in the early access, I believe. It's in uh, beta at the minute, so we're going to uh, continue the game that I'm playing. It's right at the early stages of the game. And this is basically where you select your mission. And that's my commander there. He's a rabbit. Yeah, Rabbit loves this game, by the way, guys. What you have here is, I can't, all their missions are locked. That mission's unlocked and that mission's unlocked. You've got, these are different areas. We've got the Twisting Nebula, the Hive Worlds, and the, the Burrowed Fields, okay? And that is the Galactic Senate. Bastards, okay? Now that's his fleet of ships. Now you see these squares here? That is the Senate control. At the end of every mission that you do, the Galactic Senate will invade one of these regions and put a ship in there. If they get four ships in any of these regions, they will win the game. Every time you co you complete a mission successfully in one of these regions, you take out two of the enemy ships that's in there. There's no ships in there yet because I've literally just started the game. Now, what I'm going to do... Oh, that's a bit loud. I'm going to take one of these missions. Um, a hive too far... Uh, too which search when I win a battle or this one. I'm going to do this one because I get more shit so I'm going to do this so that's me and this is what I've got I've I've got these tyrant cards which I'll explain that's me deck and all these different stuff that I've got here but the best thing is to get in the game and I'll explain what it's all about all right here's the map Oop, senate battle break senate influence over this sector accomplish one of the following this is my objectives conquer 17 planets or amass 1400 credits now it's turn based at the minute so you know i'm not being rushed into anything all this fog of war i can't see anything in there now let's explain the interface it looks complicated it's just not first off i've got two cards i can only have four cards the other two go there now each card has a value a play value there number one crystal there's my crystals i've got two so i can play i can play both of these cards if i wanted to uh, each turn you get a new card if you ever end up with four cards you have to either play one or get rid of one because at the end of your go like i said you get a new card and you can only hold four cards so you can't have any more than that up the top there's the um, objectives that i mentioned before this is how many dice I have, or die, I've got one. Uh, that's how much research I've got. Now, I get plus five every go. And when it gets to 10, I will get a breakthrough in research, so I'll get a power and ability. And uh, this is how much gold I've got, or credits. I have 85 plus 50, so I get 50 every go. This is the tyranny meter. That's my tyr tyr tyrannical face. When that gets up near the top, I can use the death ray, which destroys one to three ships. If that tyranny there drops, in other words, if I'm a Namby Pamby Southern Shandy drinking sausage jockey and I go around stroking people's heads and accepting everything, that'll drop down there under the red line and I lose. All right, so these are the planets. Now that's my home world. Now I can hire for 300 credits a new leader who will form a new fleet and that's my starting fleet there I'll, I'll click on it and let you see this fleet this fleet only has three ships in it it has six squares that's all, oops that's all you get at the beginning of the game six squares now as he levels up he will unlock new abilities and more squares so i can put more ships in his fleet at the minute i can add that which i'm gonna and i can add i can add another one of them uh, which i'm not gonna i'm gonna put a frigate in instead because they have a little bit better damage so that's that's that fleet and I've, there's my money i've now only got 25. now it's important that you go to the right places early on now over there there's a planet there that's owned by whoever that is and they have that planet is worth 30 credits a go and it's got a fortification of five that's what that five is now that means that if i want to take that planet i have to do five or more damage to it the way you do damage to planets is you roll a dice once you've killed any ships that are in orbit uh, so there's rng in it uh i'll have a look at this one that only gives 10 and it isn't defended at all i can pretty much go over there and take that now this is a research station that gives five research every go so that would knock that up um i'm 
I, I really want to go there, but I'm going to go and get that because of the, the, the income at the minute. So I'm going to send my ship over there, but I'm worried that I get bogged down with with that. It's uh, what, What's this? Friendly Fleet games 20 damage, 25 credits uh, a turn for four turns. I'm going to activate that now because I want more money. So I've activated that. So you can see that's now gone up to 75. So for the next four turns, I get 75 instead of... Um, the 50 so i'm gonna go over there and attack that fleet so we'll, we'll send my fleet over there and you'll see the attack grids now that's his ships there um they're just little ships and they do volley fire and that's his fighter squad which will send fighters in, in among mine now you choose a tactic a static field uh, enemy shields half i don't think they have any shields power up the max out energy meter which i'll come to in a second or stun an enemy ship for 20 seconds um I'm probably gonna max out that because I've got more ships than him now that's the energy meter and as you can see it's on one now once the battle starts that just starts ticking all the time it's a constant tick that just goes higher and higher and higher now as I use abilities like for example for him to fire a volley it uses one that will go down one so you know you have to be careful because you'll run out of power pretty much instantly but it will it constantly recharges so you can constantly use the power now for him to regenerate his health it's two now for him to fire a meteor strike it's three so what i'm going to do i'm going to power up that straight away so as soon as i start the game that's going to go to full i'm going to fire a meteor strike and then i'm going to use volley on these four and that should do significant damage so i'm going to choose that tactic power up max out energy meter Right, power it up, fire that, then I'm just going to volley. Fucking hell, I've lost all my ships, what the fuck? Wow. Wow, that is some kick-ass ship that he's got there. But, you know, he's, he's still going to... Ah, I've lost two ships. I'm going to just regenerate that, and I'm going to fire another media, and that's the end of that. But bloody hell, guys. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that, but I've, I've won. Now, this is the RNG uh, that comes in. Invade. I need a five or more. I got a three. Now that means I'm stuck there for another go. Next go I have to roll a two and then that'll be mine. I might as well end turn, there's nothing I can do. Now that's gone down because I haven't took a planet. They're not happy. Uh, so, you know. Mm. There's the income that I got, 75, and there's my new card. Friendly Fleet gets plus 20 damage. I've got two of them, that's a good card. I've got to invade and I better not get a fucking one. If I get a one, there'll be trouble. Oh yeah, fuck it. Now this is a different game, this is just further in. As you can see, there's different types of planets. There's crystal planets. Every time you take a crystal planet, you get an extra crystal that you can play uh, with your cards. The cards get better rewards on them as well as you go through, but they cost more crystals to activate. You can also see a lot of different types of planets that we've got here. There's asteroid belts as well. And there's research uh, places which give you more research. As you can see, I've got a lot more than 10 research going on here. And I've also got a lot bigger fleets, but the enemies got bigger fleets as well. So you get into this huge kind of war where there's all your fleets, all their fleets. You're fighting over different planets that's changing hands. You can fortify planets as well with cards to make it harder for the enemy to take them. You can power up all derelict death rays and all kinds of stuff so there's a lot going on on the map it's a very deep game this it's a very deep game but the good thing about it is that if you lose and i've lost a lot in fact I've, I've lost all the time to be honest it's hard you get to keep your rewards so you keep any cards you've unlocked and any empire rewards that you've obtained so like new commanders and ships and all that i'm going to look at this again um hopefully nearer to its launch next week if not it'll be the week after but there you go guys that's space tyrant it has a lot of depth a lot of fun and it's annoying with the rng but other than that it's a great great little game